I'm Karen Olivo, and uh, this is Press Day at Tick Tick Boom. Tick Tick Boom was written by Jonathan Larson concurrently with the beginning of writing Rent. It began as a rock monologue about Jonathan turning 30 um, and the fear of growing up and the fear of um, saying goodbye to childhood and wanting to make it in this business in musical theater. He's in that point in his career in which he really wants things to take off and he's realizing that age is sort of catching up to him and he's at that pivotal 30 moment and the things that he wanted to to accomplish in his career have not come to fruition. So this is sort of like his inner monologue. We wanted anything that we could grab of this guy that had left us so soon. You know, he, he created this thing that we loved so much and we didn't have him anymore. And so I, I'm so grateful for the show to introduce us to just that much more of his work and his, his beautiful art. It is a spectacular piece in its own right. And I think what um, we're hoping for this time through is while still honoring the Jonathan Larson story to actually just show how great this piece is in its own right not in connection to the larger story necessarily, that on its own it stands and lives as a really honest, real portrayal of what it is to struggle in the arts. I don't have to act that much in this show, do you know what I mean? The quote unquote act. Um, this is all, I have lived through everything that happens um, uh, in this show. I have had friends who, who um, go on to find other, you know, we all move to the city to become actors and writers and work in theater. And then you have the friends who move on to other things and readjust their goals or say, this business is kicking my ass. I can't take it anymore. You know, if you only know Rent, you know, like, the pinnacle of his career, you know? And this was him sort of doubting him in the trenches, um, him sort of uh, looking at his influences and revering them, and and that makes a complete picture, you know? And it's, it's kind of what all artists really should be. You're not doing your art properly if you're not questioning, and you're not trying to get deeper, and you're not trying to understand why you're doing what you're doing. So it's like a great, you know, in-depth look at what Jonathan was. Now it's 4 a.m. We have